Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. My beautiful name is Victoria Charles. For those who are new to this channel and to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. Now, if you're seeing my face for the very first time or you've been watching me and you've never interacted with me or my audience, you've never liked anything, commented, shared, <sighs> this is your golden opportunity to do exactly that and to click on the notification bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. So today, well, as you can see, I'm in a different environment, not so different to me or not so new to me because this is where I grew up. This is my parents' home uh, in Embu. Today, Munaona Nimeva Ivi, this means business. This is business. This is business! Hey. Anyway, I'm dressed like this because I'm going to the Shamba. Uh, as you can see, my parents are farmers. That is a lot of maize behind me right there, but... Uh, Today we are going to harvest something totally unrelated to, to maize. Uh, I'm going to shock you a little bit because it's something that you might not be expecting. But let's just go and I will show you exactly what we'll be doing today. So let me educate you just a little guys since I know some of you may not be aware what this is. So what you're looking at right now is locally known as Mogoka, a variant of cat or Mira. I'm sure a lot of you know what Mira is. So it's a stimulant that produces a mild high when chewed. So yeah, it's definitely a herbal stimulant. Mira is grown in Meru and Mogoka in Embu. So this is a very fast growing profitable crop in Embu and close to 65,000 farmers in the county are growing it. And this uh, stimulant is majorly exported to Somalia. So you guessed it. When the Muslims have these uh, things like Kina Ramadan and all the other holidays that they have and, you know, prayer days and when they are not indulging, then it becomes very difficult to sell this uh, crop uh for good prices so the profits go down yeah so right now what you're looking at is how it is um harvested so it's just the leaves at the tip that usually grow and they're harvested and this is what people chew on so yeah
Okay. Mm.
Ini lapaki mama.
Okay. Keru. This one is called Keru. See? <laughs> That's an. <laughs> Monica. Why are you stealing people's food? Bano na iba chakule amonzako. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Yet another day. This is yet another day. So there were houses I was going to check out. I'll just insert a small clip here of the said houses. Hi guys, so I was telling you something. Uh, the houses I went to view just a few a few minutes ago. This house I was trying to find out which is the best possible day for me to go and record and then because I had already been given like you know a go ahead because you have to ask for permission you cannot just blindly go to go to someone's property or to some developers property and then just film without consent so you literally have to ask for consent so I did that a while back. I even think I already uh, posted that in a video that I uploaded a few weeks ago. But now today on going there to confirm if the, the show house is ready, they just told me that I am not allowed to film there. So I was like, why? And I had already been given a go ahead to actually do that. And these guys told me that the content creators who go there or the marketers that go there are actually the reason as to why we do not have permission to film there anymore so why would you go and record someone's property and actually charge people a, a fee for viewing the property while you know that this property is actually not ready yet so these guys are basically stealing from people so when the clients go there to view the apartments that they want, then they are not able to get the houses because they are not yet complete. 
devastating, I know. So a lot of people have been scammed in that sort of way. I will call it a scam because it's definitely a scam. So yeah, now we have to wait for the houses to be completed so that we can record if we even get a chance to anyway because we are not sure or I am not sure whether they will even give us as content creators or as marketers the permission or the go ahead to actually do it again. So these content creators or marketers who are doing this job, can you just be courteous enough to you know do the right thing if you know houses are not complete then let people know on your platform that these houses are not complete now imagine these developers have clients like going there demanding to get a house because they were promised and they were told that these houses are complete and they actually paid a fee to go and view the houses because they knew that they're going to move into these houses only to find out that they have not completed these things you know so yeah that's my day today and i was just talking to you people because i was against the light now i'm definitely sure that you cannot see me but i don't know that i should walk backwards because that's the only way you can see me yeah so that's that's my day guys so guys as i was saying just avoid being scammed you now the other houses that i've seen that are around this area and uh, i'm trying to get to them you now i've just asked for directions and i've been told they are somewhere on a car road that i've just left behind so i'm headed back there there are good houses around here i guess so yeah i'll try my level best to make sure that i tap into every market like I fulfill everyone's needs for people who want who want houses for rentals for people who want houses for rentals uh, for sale and within everyone's budget I think I should just cater to everyone's budget so that's what I'm trying to do. So let me see if I am able to get these houses. If not, we continue searching for more. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing today. So I'm back at it again and I'm late. I'm supposed to be attending a birthday party for one of my friends. Uh, okay, not one of my friends. Like the first birthday of my best friend's uh, son at the Hub Karen. I am leaving Thika Road right now, two hours late. I just do what I'm supposed to be explaining when I get there, but I'm two hours late. Uh, but as from what I've heard, not many people have arrived. We are supposed to be 30 people, but I hear like seven people are there right now. So I guess I'm not badly off, yeah? That is me trying to console myself. So, yeah. Let me take you along with me. You're going to see the birthday party. As I've said, it's at the hub, though. There were complications with trying to book the place. I don't know why some people really have to complicate things when it comes to decor stuff. You know, decorating events, stuff like that. So they had an issue with that in the morning. And I guess that's why... Uh, things have been a bit slow so i hope that that's been sorted by now but whatever happens i know we are going to have a good time so dewi happy birthday he probably will not understand what i'm saying right now but i'm sure his parents will be able to show him these videos later in life so happy birthday we love you very much you're a bright brilliant funny little boy and we love you so much Multiplying, 
So guys, finally I made it to the birthday. I took forever to get here because of traffic. But at least I made it. People are just now taking pictures over there as you can see. Right over there anyway. I'm not using my phone to film right now because it's almost going off. So yeah guys. So far so good. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, skies are vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know my get a right, must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. I'm